Hello, viewers. Today, I want to talk about yeast, the word yeast. When you see yeast on a package, what does it mean? Sometimes yeast is not yeast. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe, and please share this video wherever it is appropriate. Yeast is not yeast. What do I mean? Well, um, the word yeast, modern times, this is yeast, dried yeast in a small packet. It's microorganisms that are dried up and can be rehydrated and, uh, and cause fermentation. The most specific definition of yeast is this small packet of dried microorganisms. Okay, so this, this is yeast. This is yeast, but you're gonna see yeast on other packages, and it's not, this, it's not this yeast. For example, these Chinese yeast balls, I call them Chinese yeast balls, and on the package it says Shanghai dried yeast. This is not the same thing. This is really um, the mold-based enzymes. It might contain some, some yeast, but it's actually a fermentation starter, um, not primarily yeast like this packet. So this, this yeast is not this yeast. And I've shown this before. This is a package of Naruk. It clearly says yeast on the package. Yeast, ingredient, yeast. Yet I know this is a mold-based enzymes grown on wheat. I know by looking at it, that's what this is. So this is Naruk. It's, it's not yeast. It's not this kind of yeast. There might be some small amount of this kind of yeast in this package, but the main thing is the enzyme. So um, mold-based enzyme fermentation starter. And that's a mouthful. Despite the label saying yeast, it's not this yeast. Similarly here, uh, this is red yeast rice, according to the label. That's a good, that's a good name for it. It's a red mold grown on rice that produces enzymes that you can brew with. Um, so this isn't yeast either, but um, I call it red yeast rice. Um, that's the, that's the word that's been chosen to translate it. The problem is the translation of the Korean and Chinese fermentation words into yeast, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not strictly accurate, but that's the word that's been chosen. Um, so the, the Chinese word for fermentation starter, the mold-based fermentation starter is chu. And on these packages, it just translates that word into the English word yeast, even though it's really more complicated than that. And same for the Naruk. Uh, I know this is Naruk, it's not yeast, but it's labeled in English here as yeast. Now this translation difficulty is not so terrible, um, but it just points out, sometimes it's better just to use the original words to describe these products. Just call it Naruk, just call it Jochu. Those are good words to use and they, they describe what the fermentation starter is specifically. And the other thing to say, of course, is that uh, the English word yeast is an old word. It didn't always mean a little packet of dried yeast. The word yeast originally just meant a fermentation starter. This is before the isolation of yeast as microorganisms, um, but they knew there was something that uh, facilitated fermentation, and that thing was called in English yeast. The old word yeast actually has a broader meaning, which is probably more in line with Naruk and Jochu as fermentation starters. So in that sense, the word yeast is an okay translation for the Asian fermentation starters. 
Um, it's just when you try to compare it with the modern definition of this little packet of yeast, well, it, it doesn't match. So that, that's what I wanted to talk about today, a little discussion about words and meaning. Um, hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching.